starting now the samay today is when your intentions get spoiled when you have a guest with matters to food etc or when somebody is serving you uh, something that you don't like and your intentions get spoiled or, or otherwise when you know you get with somebody who comes in front of you who is an unwelcome guest then your intentions get spoiled and you get aversive reactions you have set a dinner table for four and a fifth person comes and there's plenty of food but you know you still, you still spoil your intentions So, uh, and at the time of eating while two and three are fighting but at that time they are fighting why should you get enter into them the, the daughter and the wife are bickering and why should it affect you ahar means means ahar means in the originally the capital is the non eater but it's the ego where arises ego is the eater it ego is really ego wants taste it goes a variety of tastes and therefore it has entered into because of continued life time life after life infinite lives of being the eater they, and wanting certain tastes it has become the heavy ego that wants it in a certain way only but this is yes, we have become the nirahari the non eater however the old interests of the taste birds all interests are really bothering when it is tasty then he jumps on it and attacks the food when it there is unpleasant then he leaves it alone and then who has made it and then he gives pride he strokes the uh, the compliments the one who made it and therefore so on the basis of the need and the desire for the hunger of food so many complications arise in life and so let us so we want to really open up the inner vignan today and and this inner vignan is the is that it is it is it is there is a deficiency there is a hunger there is there is a demand of the inner subatomic particles on the basis of which the external food particles are going inside this body that is the non self complex and i am the blissful knower and seer of it all and the, you know the tongue is the one that is sending the signals of the taste and there is you know and then the middle one is making decisions about because there is the illusory attack attachment to the quality of the food and the and the taste of the food and so then on the basis of because on the of the illusory attachment this moha for food that there is uh, one enters into the enters into into into, into ragdvesh and so you are in the process of trying to uh, settle file one with intellect uh, with with, with Uh, with uh, with uh, I have I have people hurt each other. You see, there is so much fights on the basis of little matters of food. They are so intensely involved in in food. You know, I have even seen people. Uh, why did you serve me cold tea? And he throws the cup of tea on her face. You see, and so this this is the kind of clashes that I have. there is less sugar, no sugar in the tea. He, he makes this. You know, the, the, you know, the rice is cooking, but he says, why did you serve me only the chapati? is very rice so this is the kind of this is so from the ahar from this this activity of eating this desire for the food this hunger for food the husband wants bre- hot breakfast and then he has he makes a tent from and a fuss over in the morning and there is he demands a lot out of his wife why are you not going and the, and because there is the hunger inside is such a fire and it creates a lot of pain and because his expectations are such that he has to have the food in a certain manner only that he makes such a case but you know when he become enter into the state of the gnani and the state in the state of the non eater and the nirahari pat the state of the gnani and the shuddhatma self then you should not have any rag dvesh you should not have any attachment or aversion on the food that is coming to in front of you it is the intellect that is making the decisions that the, that person who made the food is wrong the one who is not bringing it i told her to buy and make this vegetable why did she not make it why is she constantly serving me this etc so so we can so and any even if somebody serves you food with love but you do not like it you know you can still taste it and then leave it on one side near dada told niruma that which you love to eat eat less and that which you don't love to eat too much you not you like too much then you are free to eat as much as you want to eat dada reversed it for her that which you love to eat eat less of it you know be moderate in it be but and that which you do not like much feel like feel yourself for you are free to eat as much as you want to eat but when that which is tasteless comes in front of you you do not want to counter attack somebody you do not want to have a prati bhav counter attacking an ego based reaction against that person 
and you should not but you know the illusory attachment to food will make you paint uh, all kinds of gourmet foods in your in, in your inner painting and will make you run to all corners of the food to have this food and this food and this particular taste of food so this is the samaik on food the eater and the non-eater and then you know then opinions about i don't it is this i don't eat onions i don't eat potatoes i don't eat meat i don't eat this etc this is all of this kind of insistences need to be seen etc try to get into uh, try to enter into the mode where there is no kashai at the time of, of intake of food and up until life whatever has happened in life try to get into that awareness in future and it doesn't mean that in that it doesn't mean that you have to avoid the beautiful uh, uh, different flavors that are served to you whatever is served to you is correct but can you eat them without any kashais then uh, there no self is the knower and the body is the eater the, the, the body eats the food that is in front of it and the know the self as capital self is the knower it is the middle man who makes all kinds of decisions this is wrong this is the main it should be this cold it is not the right temperature it is not on the right plate it is only on a paper plate what the hell how can i eat with a plastic spoon when there is a still you see so so if you do not like it do not make a fuss if you can get it yourself go stand up and get it and have, have what you want and there should not be any insistence that you know just because i prepared it you have to eat it too so the one who has prepared the food also has to be in the awareness that you know it is on the basis you know so serve gently serve with it because you know now supposing something is served to you and you reject it with uh, with scorn inside you will never get it in the next life so this is how it is these are all these are all even the subatomic particles that have no life in it should not be scorned at should not be rejected they are correct they are there for you even if you have a, a if you have if you have an unwelcome guest you know this just see where your intentions got spoiled just because you were ready to have a meal with somebody else and not him so <coughs> when guests have come more than the number of or you have become a guest and then you know when you are a guest in somebody who somebody's home then you're you know then they don't you know they don't treat you well and then your intentions get spoiled they invited you with good feelings but then but we not to we really need to take all of these things correctly in samaik and so our biggest thing is the statement of kabir which says that which you get naturally is like milk that which you get by asking is turns into water and that which you grab forcefully turns into blood is like milk is like blood taking the blood of the other person so so can you do this without without kashai sahaj mila so dood barabar khinch liya so pani mang mang liya so pani khinch liya so rakt barabar that is like so let us do the vidhi of the samayik on this intake of food and the timing of food at that time whatever has happened let us go into the samayik of this thing let us do it let us do the vidhi now the vidhi speak o dada bhagwan the pure soul within me o lord simandar swami prabhu with this a pure applied awareness of the s capital self in the entire life events at the, in all events during at the time of meals with anyone else or with other things of food or or my own self small as you live if there are any kinds of errors and mistakes have happened kashais have arisen let, let me see all those mistakes in samayik grant me the energy to see them in samayik nimitto pratye ragdvesh and the, and any ragdvesh that arose against the nimits let me wash them off through pratikraman please and all obstinacies and insistences that were and where i became non communicative and upset and then through this non be and then where i rejected the meal because i became very angry let me see us uh, this mistakes of adai and obstinacy in in samayik my lord
and the file of eating is to be settled with equanimity and without getting uh, involved in greedily in any specific taste and to take all tastes in balance and to, to settle the file of hunger with equanimity not only of the hungry one but also of the food also and to remain in such gnan and grant me the energy to do such a samayik. I surrender the mind, speech and body, all illusions associated with my name, bhav karma, charge karma, dravya karma, subtle discharge karma, yellow glasses, no karma, gross discharging karma, oh Dada Bhagwan, the Supreme Self within me, I surrender them unto thy divine feet, my Lord. I am surrendering them all, my Lord. Tatma chu shut 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 